All right, what is up, everybody? So for 7-4, we're looking at two more shortcuts for showing that triangles are similar, right? So yesterday we looked at angle, angle, or the other day we looked at angle, angle. Now we're gonna look at side, 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 and side, angle, side. Now it's important to remember that we're not talking about congruence because these both are also shortcuts for congruence and they have the same acronym, but now we're talking similarity and not congruence, right? So. SSS obviously stands for side, 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 but no longer is it meaning that all three sides are congruent. It now means that all three corresponding side ratios of two triangles are equal, okay? And so we've talked about how to make the corresponding side ratios. So if you don't know any angle measures, you would put together your corresponding ratios and then see if they equal each other. Right, so again, here I've got just my three ratios set up. If that's all true, okay, if each angle when reduced, or using a calculator, not angle, sorry, when each fraction or ratio when reduced or using a calculator to find a decimal amount are all equal, then the triangles are similar, okay? So that you know it's gonna be SSS maybe if you don't know any of the angles, okay? And then SAS, remember that was from our, uh, also a congruent triangle shortcut, but the angle has to be included, right? It's between the two sides you know. So if two corresponding ratios are equal and the angles that are included are congruent, then the triangles are similar, right? So again, the big thing to remember for SAS is the angle has to be between the side that you know for each triangle, and still the corresponding ratios still have to be equal, okay? So again, if we look at these two, I have angle E and angle R. So just based off of this, we're gonna be looking at these orange sides because those orange sides are where the angle is between those two, right? So EF corresponds to RS, and EG corresponds to RT, so if those two ratios are equal and the angle between them is equal, as in E is congruent to R, then the two triangles are congruent, okay? And so guys, that's all the new information for today. The rest of the notes is gonna be talking, me just kind of showing you different examples of how this might look. So not a whole lot of new information today, just brings us to three different shortcuts, angle, angle, side, 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 and side angle side. And the biggest thing to remember is whenever you see an A in a shortcut, that's talking about congruent corresponding angles. Whenever you see an S, that's referring to a ratio of a side, okay, being equal to another ratio. So let's take a look at this diagram right here. So we're trying to determine, are the triangles similar? If they are, let's make a, a similarity statement. So when I look at this, hopefully you jump jumps out to you that you have one pair of congruent angles that's not marked, right? And that's going to be our vertical angles right here and right here. Vertical angles are never marked for you. That's something you have to see on your own. Now, the next thing we need to test is, do we have any congruent ratios? So notice that we don't know our third side length. So SS, and there's no way for us to find it. So SSS is not an option. We also don't know any of the other angle measures, and we can't find those either. So angle angle is not an option. So the only option we have is SAS. So the way that I'm gonna figure out what sides correspond to what is that the longer side in one triangle will always correspond to the longer side in the other. So the 40 on the left has to correspond to the 30 on the right because the 40 is the longer side on the left the 30 is the longer side on the right, which means then that the 36 has to correspond to the 37. So the question is, is do those equal each other, right? So 40 divided by 30 is 1.33. 36 divided by 27 is also 1.33. So those two ratios are equal. So now to finish this off, we wanna make a similarity statement. Now. I'm gonna just name the triangle on the left LMN. I can put that in any really order I want. 
but now I want to make sure that I put the triangle on the right in corresponding order. So the L, okay, is going to correspond, so L to M. I'm connecting L, which is my shorter side, to my longer side. So that would be O to shorter, P to longer. So o, L would correspond to O, and then P would correspond to M, and N obviously corresponds to itself. And so that would be a similarity statement, knowing now that it's similar via SAS. Let's take a look at a, another one, right? So now here in this diagram, notice that we don't know any angles. So angle, angle, not an option. The diagrams aren't connected, so there's nothing that we can conclude. So it can't be SAS. So this only option this could be is SSS, and that's a maybe because we have to check our ratios. So just like I said in the last one, the way that we know corresponding parts is the shortest side on the left has to correspond to the shortest side on the right. The medium side on the left corresponds to the medium side on the right, and the longest side on the left corresponds to the longest side on the right. Okay, so the six is the shortest for, on the left, four is the shortest on the right, 12 is the longest on the left, the eight is the longest on the right. So are those equal, okay? So we do six divided by four, that's 1.5. Eight divided by five, that's 1.6. So right off the bat, we see that those are not equal. So these two figures are not similar, okay? Even though 12 divided by eight is also 1.5, because one of those ratios is not equal to the other two, these triangles are not similar. Okay, another example of all sides. So let's start with our longest first. So we'll go 20 on the left corresponds to the eight. 15 on the left corresponds to the six. 10 on the left corresponds to the four. 20 divided by eight is 2.5. 15 divided by six, 2.5. 10 divided by four, 2.5. So it, it actually finds out that these are all similar. Now, again, I can put the triangle on the left in any order I want. Let's go with JKL. Similar to, so J is where the medium, excuse me, the small and the longest side are meeting. So if I look at my triangle on the, on the right, the smallest and the longest are meeting at point S. And then K is where the longest and medium side are meeting. So that would be Q, and then we finish with R. Okay, so JKL is similar to SQR, okay? Whoops, a little bit of, let me back that up. Let me see if I can chain, erase a little bit of this so we don't have any overlapping. Shrink it down. There we go. Okay. So now for this one, notice you only know two side lengths. You know two angles. Okay, so kind of have to think about it for a second. There's no way to find any other side lengths because we don't have any right triangles. So SSS, not an option. SAS, not an option. So that only leaves us with one other option, which is angle angle. So we do know that one pair of angles is congruent. Do you guys see another pair of angles? Hopefully you see these vertical angles right here. So these two triangles are similar via angle angle. We now just need to make a similarity statement. So I'm gonna write the one on the top, JKL, is similar to, well, J corresponds to P because they're both the same. And then I know that L has to correspond to itself. So then the K has to correspond to the M. So JKL is similar to PML. Okay, let's do a couple more, then we'll be done. All right, this is our last one, actually. So when I look at this one here, okay, we only know two side lengths in each triangle. Uh, we know that we have a vertical angle pair, but here's the thing. 
that angle is not included between the two sides that we know, okay? The included angles are these two angles right here in orange. So even though if I did 8 over 10 and 12 over 15, 8 divided by 10 is 0.8, 12 divided by 15 is also 0.8, even though these ratios are equal, these two triangles are not similar because that would be an, kind of an ASS or an SSA shortcut, and that's not one of our options, okay? So don't get fooled by a problem like this. The angle has to be between. Now, if we knew that these two angles were similar, or excuse me, congruent, then yeah, those would both be similar via SAS. But because it's not included, they are not similar. Okay. That's all I got for you guys today. Let me know if you have any questions.